G'day, Daryl Mickelson here, Toowoomba Advocate, 4350 TV. It's more than a postcode, Sean. It is more than a postcode. It is a uh, community built on unity, that's what oh, I believe. It's a fantastic place. Mate, I, I've lived here since 1978. I love Toowoomba and I really appreciate you coming to the city to the 26th Merrill Prayer Breakfast. And yes. I must admit, when I saw the Sean Hart AFL player, I thought, what's he going to share with us? But tell us what you shared. I, I have got the video, uh, the interview all recorded, the, your speech. But tell us what primarily you were sharing today. I wanted to share a little bit of what I've gleaned in terms of developing people over the years, both as a player, with the leaders that led me, and then being a leader as a coach, working with players, working with people, and the belief that people need daily about the journey they're on and you know, whether we succeed one day and fail the next, that, that we're still on a journey. So talking about that, talking about the stories of my own personal success as part of the Brisbane Lions three uh, three feet of premierships and, mm -hmm. and how certain cultural and team-based messages are so important to get a, a strong hold of and you can really do whatever you want to with that and yep. I believe also uh, with uh, personal faith uh, and our faith in faith in a God who loves us yep. and a faith in a, a God who wants us to uh, to be all that he created us to be and uh, now that last piece I shared was about identity uh, and people need to understand that that our identity should not be in what we do and how well we do it because as soon as we start stop doing it yep. or as soon as we stop doing it well uh, that is not the end of who we are. Mm -hmm. uh, we are far greater than our job uh, playing football, winning premierships. There's so much more to who we are and who we were created to be by God. And, and I want people to clearly get that message over and above every other message today. One thing, I, I interview a lot of people. I met this guy, he's got a turkey business, he raises turkeys. and <laughs> he's, he, he had property and he was making all this money from property. And someone said, what do you do? He goes, I'd really do nothing. But he said he had to find a purpose in life. And that's important, isn't it? We've got to have a purpose. So. Oh, absolutely. We need to believe in, in a way we are created for a purpose. And uh, we're not just here you know, to do our own thing. We're actually created for a purpose. And when we do that, uh, life gets exciting. And uh, we journey with people who have similar purpose and similar passion, I should say. And, and we, we join in our purpose and build a vision. And all of a sudden, we head towards influencing our community, influencing our world. It's pretty exciting stuff. That's great. Your Adelaide interview, can you just tell me the quote? That grabbed me, that quote. Can you just yeah, that yeah, quote? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I made the statement. I was asked why Brisbane win premierships yep. and the other AFL clubs weren't able to yep. at that time. And I said, I believe we played for each other more, which yep. insinuated a little bit of we care for each other more, which uh, was taken highly offensively by the Port Adelaide <laughs> City Club at the time. But, they won. but, but that's all right. They, uh, they did something about yep. it. They didn't just ignore the message. They actually said, we'll, we'll prove this message wrong. And uh, they, they went about doing that. Yeah. Uh, and, and beat us the next year. So it's a, it's a really powerful message, which will probably be one of my favourite of life of my whole life, I think, because mm -hmm. it just taught me about how powerful the truth is. Sometimes you've got to speak what you believe, yeah. and sometimes it can transform a person's life and a community's, a community's um, um, whole area. So uh, yeah. I love it, I love it. And look, there's no I in team, it's all teamwork, and Correct. look after your team members, and I work uh, yeah. in a few teams. Yeah, and, yeah. Yeah. Help others be successful, and uh, you'll enjoy being successful yourself, that's what we learned as well. Mate, thanks for coming up the mountain, and um, I know you've got to head back home, but um, thanks for coming to Toowoomba, and we really appreciate you here today, and um, celebrating the word of the Lord as well. So. Uh, it's, it's great, it's just such a great event, this, uh, this breakfast, and everyone needs to get to it next year, to be honest. Yes. Um, I might try and come up myself, but uh, the reality is Toowoomba's a great place, and uh, why wouldn't you want to live here? Um, except for living on the Gold Coast, I'd probably live in Toowoomba, I reckon. Right, Sean, thanks for coming on Toowoomba 4350 TV. It's more than a postcode, and take care, and mate, enjoy your safe trip home. Thank you very much. Cheers, take care, see you Toowoomba.